Hey guys, I will do it today, and today we're watching Hannibal Season 3, Episode 12, titled The Number of the Beast is 666. I like the title, and I assume it's referring to uh, Dollhide, but yeah, the last episode was brilliant. I absolutely loved the last episode. It was intense, it was, a, it was suspenseful, and I was I had mad respect for, I think her name's Molly, Will's girlfriend, How because obviously Hannibal even though he's behind the cell, still holds all the cards in the way, and he's using Dollarhide as a very powerful weapon, not only against Will, but against Will's family, he tried to get Will's family killed, and um, somehow, some way, Molly got the hell out of Dodge with her child, with her son, and um, they narrowly escaped, but she used her brain, she wasn't stupid, she used the car as a distraction to run away, and I think there was a casualty, but nevertheless, they still survived. And um, Will's aware of this, and Will's aware that Hannibal has done this, and it's going to get to the point where they're going to have to deal with Dollarhide. And, you know, Dollarhide is a character, well, it, it, he is a vulnerable character mixed mixed in with a guy who is very intimidating and he's capable of doing a lot of bad things and he already has. And um, obviously the FBI are getting closer and closer and catching him, and they're trying to use Hannibal to get to him, but Hannibal, you know, Hannibal's not going to be very, very giving person. He's not going to, you know, help. He's going to use it as a weapon because he's been in the Baltimore State Hospital for three years. He's been, you know, inside there, you know, not being the Hannibal we all know and love for three years. I'm sure he's a little bit jealous of the fame Dollarhide is getting, and this is his way of getting back in the spotlight. And um, everyone knows this. Will knows this. Jack knows this, and I found it funny when um, previous lover uh, Lana ends up punishing Hannibal and taking his, his taking his toilet. He's, she's kind of filling the role of Chilton. I don't know where Chilton has been for the past couple of episodes. We've seen him back, but um, yeah, it feels like Lana's gained some of his character moments, and you know what? I, I'm happy with that because Lana in this role is pretty badass, and I really enjoy it. But yeah, we got two episodes left: the number of the beast is six six six, and the wrath of lamb of the lamb. Uh, oh, this is gonna be so crazy. This is gonna be fucking bonkers. But um, yeah, if you want to link for access, you can on my Patreon, where you can watch link for access to all the movies and TV show episodes we watch on Patreon, and. Um, <sighs> Here we go. Without further ado, that's my fucking dealers, boys, and go to three, two, one, go. My wife and I see her dead. Mm. I see Mrs. Leeds. I see this coming on you. Lying where Molly should be. Do you see yourself killing her? Yes. Over and over. It's hard to fucking predict hell. when brittle materials will break. Could he daily feel a stab of hunger for you and find nourishment at the very side of you? Yeah. Yes. Jealous, jealous man. <laughs> maybe that's, maybe I could be wrong. What's got your attention, Doctor? God, the devil, and the great red dragon? Lest we forget the lamb. You? Me and the great red dragon. Uh, the lamb's okay. wrath touches everyone. The lamb is becoming a lion. For the great day of his wrath has come, and we shall be able to stand. I'll still be standing. Will you? Is your conscience clear? As clear as yours. <laughs> Righteousness is what you and me have in common. He's not the dragon. You are the devil himself. Oh, yeah. It makes you God, Jack. Yes, it does. All gods demand sacrifices. His will a sacrifice. to expect from this oh dear but that is so true Hannibal is the red dragon let's be honest we don't it's, have it's not else. Francis now can't go home as long as he's loose 
Yeah. So I really bad mouth the red dragon in title crime. Yeah, call Good him trap. too fairy. It's like a trap. He isn't stupid though, isn't he? And it'll feel like a trap to him. He isn't stupid. Unless you have a professional voice to legitimize what you're saying. Someone to hide the you. wire or the snare? No. I'd have to be a fool. <laughs> I don't blame Since her, to be honest. Commitment... <laughs> but he would. Articles for the Northern Medical Journal of Psychiatry. <laughs> you refuted my entire book. It didn't hold up to scrutiny. Of course it didn't. I was lying. Well, don't lie. On your behalf, to save your life, you refuted your insanity defense. Are you here to remonstrate me with I told you so's? That's not why I'm here. You are making statements no investigator would ever make and no straight newspaper would credit. You sell t-shirts that say the Tooth Fairy is a one-night stand. I can get you one if you like. You small or a medium. Small, I bet. They aren't selling so well since you started calling him the dragon. I don't think this is going to work, but good effort, I guess. But Chilton can piss off anybody, so... actions indicate a projective delusion, compensating for intolerable feelings of inadequacy. He's a vicious, perverted, sexual failure. An animal. I get that a lot as well. <laughs> the savage acts aimed primarily at the women... Have I told you I loved Will? I love Will so much. He's amazing. An eternal figure. The tooth fairy is the product of an incestuous home. This is the child of a nightmare. This is hysterical. <laughs> Look at Chilton, man. Look at him. Fucking douchebag. I love how Chilton's smiling and Will just, is just doing this. <laughs> we know who his fans are. Is he getting a Freddy Lowndes death from the Red Dragon movie? I thought he died last season. I don't think he's going to survive this. I am not a man. Oh no. I have become other. Man to dragon. More than a man. Yeah. When we need something or and we want something God to happen. Help you. He sounds like Stephen Lang from Don't Breathe <laughs> a little bit. Me? It's me. Oh. If you make a sound, I will kill her. Oh, what is she doing? Girl, uh, you dodged a bullet here. Stay out. I've made it work for me. My independence. I think he's realized she's blind. I'm not so scarred by life that I'm incapable of love. Hope you aren't either. It's the wrong person. Aww. I, I don't feel sorry for her because she's blind. I, I know she doesn't want that pity. She said that in a previous episode, but. It's because she's, you know, trying to find love so much. I guess Do you want to because know? she can't see him. What? You know, she I sees the best in him, maybe, and in reality, he's... Look at anything. See? Yes. Oh. Do you see? Do oh. you see? God. Do you see? Please. Don't you tell more lies about me, Dr. Chilton? Oh, no, 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 Why no. did you tell lies, Dr. Chilton? No, it was the police t told me to. They, they, they said it. You quote Will Graham. Graham told the lies. For your journey home. I will need that. So let him go. I want to understand. And I've got a very good memory. Oh. Ah! 
Oh. 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 Um, Shelton has um, endured a lot of scars and a lot of um things during his time. <laughs> Gideon did his thing with his kidneys, he got shot, and now that. Yeah, that's Chilton. Dr. Chilton often offended me, so I certainly understand the symptoms. <laughs> Is he gonna eat that? Where's the other one? This one can provide you anything the other one can. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, Jack. The tragedy of what's happened to Fretwick has put me in an excellent humor. Dr. Chilton disappeared yesterday. You wanted to enrage him. Congratulations. That backfired, yeah. It, he did just that. You could have provided anything Dr. Chilton could. That would have been your lip I was tasting. Again. Wish, yeah, she knew, yeah. You publicly discredited Dr. Chilton. By refuting him, you orchestrated his end by proxy. You orchestrated his end, Alana. You saw the hole and let him roll right into it. Mm, I agree, actually. That's professional discourtesy. I, that's true. I agree. Find you and feel the small knobs on the top of your pelvis. Feel your spine between them. That is the precise spot where the dragon will snap your spine. Oh, fuck. There is much for you to dread. From my own lips, you will learn a little more to dread. <sighs> he did call him a sexual failure. <laughs> you were curious what would happen that's apparent. Just like Hannibal. Is this what you were expecting? I can't say I am surprised. May as well have struck the match. That's participation. I know said that to you early on in the season. That is a creepy fucking visual. Oh. Yeah, it's safe to say that's the end of Chilton. That is creepy. Chilton said your name when they brought him into the ER. He's trashed. You ought to get ready for this. Hey, why? He's still alive? What? What? Fucking hell, man, this guy's got nine lives. What the fuck? Wow. Um, there's no... <laughs> I'd rather be dead. Oh my god. I kind of feel sorry for him. You set me up. You knew it. You put your hand on me in the picture like a pet. A black woman, she's blind. Reba. The dragon said her name when he called Lecter. That is actually really sad. <laughs> oh. Oh. I, if I was chilling, I want someone to kill me. But do you not see this coming a little bit, you know? Same. I guess he just wanted to be... Not a celebrity, but he wanted to be out there. And he wanted all the, the attention. And that bited him, you know, put him in the, end, in the arse at the end. And here's the other thing, too. Alana, she knew what would happen. That's why she got the fuck out of Dodge, you know? She didn't want to do it. And Will... Will knew what he was doing as well. 
Hannibal said it perfectly though when she said, you know, Alana, you know, there's a reason why you didn't do, you didn't do it. And if you did, I'll be eating your lips. But Hannibal got so much pleasure when he knew that happened. Poor Reba, man, she's like, I just want someone to... If I untie you and let you sit up, will you be good? The two things. Think. Answer correctly. It's a dragon something. Dragon. Red dragon. Someone save her. This... Someone kill us, dude, before he kills her. Oh, for fuck's sake. Um, someone needs to get there quick, because it's quite clear that the dragon's been unleashed and he is going to kill her. They better they better save her before it's too late. Because um, I do feel sorry for her, you know? Oh, dear. So much happened this episode, ladies and gentlemen. So much has just happened. Um, Chilton... <laughs> he, he, he's had a tough episode. A very tough episode. Um, I think he's dead. I think he should be dead, pretty much. There's no way he can live a comfortable life like that. Um, and I'm kind of surprised he was... I get it, you know. Hannibal refuted all the things he said in the book. and Hannibal... Ever since what happened to Hannibal, he wanted to be the face of it, being you know, get the attention for it, be the man that was, you know, around that. But I think too much hunger for that got him in this position. But the people around him did not help at all. Alana, she knew what would happen if you got a professional voice in this interview and she backed out. She knew full well. She's a feisty. She's 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 not as innocent as I thought she was in the first season, 100%. And Hannibal said it perfectly too after, you know, he ate the lip. And that sequence when he says to him, to Jack, um, where's the other one? And he, he just see a, a cut to him just sucking it so fast. And um, I forgot what he said, but what, what happened to Frederick, get, you know, it gave me, you know, is, is, is humorous, something to that effect. And Hannibal was loving that. Hannibal was having a time of his life right now watching this, these events um, occur. And um, the threat, he said to the threat, he, the threat in the video to, to Will about what's going to happen to his spine and what, what happened to Frederick is going to be nothing compared to you. Oh, dear. It's good. This is going to be dicey. And we got one episode left. What the fuck is going to happen? And Jack said it perfectly as well when he was talking to Hannibal. He said that, you know, he's not the dragon. You are. And I think Hannibal enjoyed that when he said that. Um, I think he is happily, is happy with that title because he is the one who is, you know, he is, he is. Like if Jack will no longer puppets, you know, he's happy. He's definitely the puppeteer, hundred percent. And um, I do, I do kind of feel bad for Frederick, you know, um, even though he is, he is a piece of shit. He is, he is a dick. He's an antagonizer. He is, you know, he, he wants certain things that I do think get him to his position, but uh, does he deserve to be burnt like that? And, I don't, and his lips all gone and he can barely fucking speak and it's kind of messed up what happened to him and if I think this is the final straw for him. Um, <laughs> I, was, I was surprised he survived last season when he got shot in the face, but um, you know, maybe he'll come back in the next episode. <laughs> I, don't, I doubt it. But um, yeah, the wrath of lamb, of the lamb, who will be the sacrifice? Who will be the sacrifice? Who knows, man. The next episode is going to be very interesting. The last final episode. Hopefully they will address, you know, will they, are they going to save Reba or not? Is she going to get killed by the Red Dragon too? Or will or will Will and Jack, the FBI, save her from the Red Dragon? And what's going to happen with Hannibal? Is Hannibal going to just going to, you know, will he be happy with that ending? You know, the ending of the, to this, I guess. Um, who knows? And obviously, the family. You know, Will says to Bedelia that you know he thinks him killing Molly. You know he thinks about that. He, you know he has visions of that. I do feel like something horrible is going to happen to that family before it ends. I don't know. This this end is going to be very interesting. 
I'm just hoping for an ending that is somewhat conclusive. If I get an ending that's very cliffhangerish, I'm gonna get really angry. I'm gonna get really annoyed, and I'm gonna get really disappointed with this with the show because we've you know three seasons and in twelve episodes, and it ends like I'll be very upset. I know there was a demand for a fourth season. I've heard, I've seen comments from you guys on about fourth season. But um, I still hope the ending is somewhat conclusive. But hey, who knows? The Wrath of the Lamb. I'll be watching that ASAP. And I hope you guys enjoy this reaction. You can watch Flowing for Access on my Patreon. Where you can watch Flowing for Action to all the movies and TV show episodes I watch on Patreon. And I will see you guys next time. And have a good day.